it. We have people who are dieting to lose weight, those who desire to eat as healthfully as possible, and those like yourself who are really competitive. Uh, I don't know that you want to get as jacked as possible, but, you know, there are those out there. Yeah. <laughs> She's got muscles, everybody. She could, she could take me out in a street fight, I think, any day of the week. From all sides of the spectrum, how do you, or how do we support people in these various paths? And, like, how do individuals in each of these categories determine how to approach, you know, things in the best, most health conscious way? Um, I mean, I think I know the answer to this, but would love to hear your point of view. We teach our students how to assess patients, how to assess clients from, from the minute they make the appointment at the office. Um, and so really, we're just like every other healthcare practitioner. We try to conduct um, comprehensive assessments. Um, actually, with our focus on integrative and functional nutrition specifically, we really have a focus on um, assessing patients holistically and spending time to actually listen to patients and putting their story together and understanding the things that happen even preconception that affect their lives now and their health now and their decisions that they make now. There's also, you know, a, a really interesting cultural phenomenon happening right now. So most of the people living, most of the adults living in this country right now are overweight, obese. And so there's a cultural um, shift in which we're trying to normalize this to um, improve mental health and to not weigh people down with the superficial nature of the way they look. But it's kind of an interesting phenomenon because as a as a healthcare practitioner, I don't really care how you look. I care about your health and your happiness and your wellness. So it, it, it's an interesting phenomenon because um, being overweight and obese is a, is a medical diagnosis that can be billed for, it can be coded for. It's, it's the same thing as being diagnosed with um, you know, HIV or hypertension or cancer. So, so there is some balance that, that needs to ultimately happen into normalizing the um, superficial and the mental health aspect of overweight or obesity, but balancing it with the, the fact that there is, you know, a, a huge abundance of literature that shows that overweight and obese lead to most of our leading causes of death in this mm. country. Um, so there's no real one size fits all approach to this. I often kind of recommend to people to um, do what you enjoy doing. If you don't like lifting weights, don't lift weights. If you like swimming, swim. You know, find the physical activity that suits you that you enjoy. So whether it's nutrition, whether it's exercise, you know, there's really no no one size fits all. We want people to be happy, to be healthy. Um, and in terms of those, you know, looking to get jacked or looking to get, um, you know, lose a little weight or looking to improve their osteoporosis or, you know, improve their COVID-19 condition. Um, yeah, these all have totally different um, nutrition recommendations, nutrition guidelines, different needs. And, and that's something that our students um, will learn and we, you know, be able to tailor nutrition recommendations to their specific clients. 